High voltage performance wired up to another world. The man they call Pops Peter Pan is in full flight. If there was ever a pure entertainment machine, you're watching it. Watching him on stage and the power of his performance. Sixty thousand fans on a warm September night watch Michael set music alight. Tonight it's Tokyo, an inkling of things to come when his magical mystery world tour hits Australia in November. If his music is not your style, few can resist the Lord of the Dance. I dance a lot anyway. I've always loved to dance. Avoiding the spotlight off stage for this most wanted star requires some extraordinary escape routes. And in talking to us, Michael at least confirms one of those myths that he dons disguises to slip unseen into the real world. He's been called everything from the Frank Sinatra to the Fred Astaire of the 80s. The spotlight has made him music's first billionaire. All that at 29. He's uh, like a laser beam all the time. He always does his homework. I've never ever seen him nervous about anything. I called him just before he went on this show. This is his first solo tour ever. I said, you're nervous? He said, no, I can't wait to get on stage tonight. Clichés seem to fall away when you watch Michael perform. When he says he's inspired by things spiritual, you believe him. Like all superstars, Michael has to deal with a plague of allegations about his private life. Headlines which paint him as a weird recluse. Rumours about his supposedly mammoth plastic surgery. About his supposed fascination for bizarre relics like the Elephant Man. How much of it is true? Ask the question. The Peter Pan figure bathed in blue light. Michael Jackson is truly one of modern music's enigmas. Some say he's a kid who never really grew up. 
But perhaps his friend Steven Spielberg had it right when he said, it's a nice place Michael comes from. I wish we could all spend some time in his world. and tens of millions of records after. The song remains the same, but the singer has become far more elusive. 